did your father write this book and uh, when did you decide to publish? To the best of our knowledge, my father wrote the book between 1936 and 1941, which is relatively early in his career. Uh, he may have written beyond those years, but those are the years that we, we know he was writing between. And uh, it sat uh, abandoned for many years and disappeared for quite some time and was only rediscovered in the late 1980s. And since that time, it was a long decision process, really for my sister and I, to make certain that, the, that my father would really want this book published. And it was a process of reading through the, the essays that he wrote and making certain that we, they were really consistent with what he came to express later in his life because we did not want to publish something that he felt that we felt that he would have rejected later. When in fact we found a great consistency between what he expressed really as a, as a rather young man and with what he was painting uh, even 20 or 30 years later. After thinking about this for some time, I, I really believe that it gave just additional clarity to what my father uh, was trying to say through his paint. It's not to say that it's by any means a guide to his painting, that it's a, uh, a how to understand Rothko book, but it gives you some of the sources of his inspiration and it gives you his ideas about what makes a painting work, how an artist goes about expressing his ideas. And the book is very much about his ideas and you can understand from the book that to his mind, painting is also very much about ideas. I, I particularly like the chapter on, on space in my uh, father's book, uh, really because here he talks about, to him, what is the most essential part of a painting. He feels like in the space that the artist creates uh, in the painting, he is really giving you, he calls it the key to the painting, the key to the meaning of the painting. He says where the way that the artist creates a space is the way that he creates a believable reality that you can enter. Not the illusion of a place you can go, but a real place where you take essentially a journey in the painting. It's when, if he can make that space believable, make it a, like a real object, then he's making a painting that you can have a real interaction with. And this is what he tried to do in his own painting as well. It's, uh, it's a, a theory that I long had for, about my father's painting, that for him, space was the most important thing, was in fact more important than color. And it was uh, really uh, a pleasant surprise for me when I read the manuscript and saw to him how important space was to him. It confirmed my theory and uh, gave me a great deal of pleasure. What's an artist for your father? Uh, my, for my father, an artist is not simply someone who paints, and he was very much focused on, on painting amongst, amongst the arts, but it's really almost a philosopher. An artist is someone who is a seeker of truth, who tries to understand the world from his or her own perspective, to, and then distill these, these truths, what, what he or she understands about the world, into a painting, which is a communication to somebody else. So rather than typically writing a book, which is what a philosopher would do, or publishing an essay, the artist tries to contain their understanding of the world in a painting, which hopefully expresses this idea to, to the viewer.